So today we'll be extracting manganese metal from this lantern batteries that I picked up at store. Now we'll just pull it apart and salvage the juicy insides of the battery. And now we can have the black paste containing manganese dioxide, carbon and other stuff like iron, zinc, potassium hydroxide and other electrolytes. Now we just wash it out with water to get out the electrolytes and other water soluble junk and filter it out. Now we can add some hydrochloric acid. This reaction is endothermic, so we need to heat it up to get it going. During this process, there will be large amounts of chlorine gas being produced, so don't breathe that in. Uh, then we filter it. When it's done, the resulting solution is very gross and yellow. So it's clearly impure and full of contaminants. So the reason why it's yellow is actually because of the iron-3 ions, where the chlorine gas produced by the manganese dioxide reacting with hydrochloric acid is actually oxidizing the iron-2 plus ions into its iron-3 plus state, which changes the solution from green to yellow slash orange. Anyways, to fix this, just pour off one third of the solution and add enough sodium hydroxide to neutralize it. At this point, we'll see a brownish solid forming along with some white specks. This would just be iron hydroxide and zinc hydroxide as well. So after filtering this and washing out the excess hydroxides, uh, we're going to add this gross diarrhea soup back into the yellow solution to make it look like someone did their business in my beaker. Now we just leave them together overnight this allows oxidation to take place, so the manganese hydroxide will be converted into soluble manganese chloride, and the iron-3 chloride will be turned into insoluble iron-3 hydroxide. After filtering, we can see that the solution is still yellowish, so I tried the process again in hopes that it was just highly contaminated with iron. Which, it was. So now we're left with this pink solution, which shows a much more pure manganese chloride than what we had. Now we just add more hydroxide to it and filter it again. Now we have purified manganese dioxide. So I've actually had another separate run of this going on in the background, and it turns out that the manganese dioxide from that run was actually much blacker than this one. Now I have no idea why this is, probably something to do with manganese trioxide forming, which is kind of brownish, paired to thermite. To do this, we just add aluminium powder to manganese dioxide in a 5 to 12 mass ratio. We simply ignite the mixture by burning the piece of magnesium ribbon, and this reaction, as we can see, is extremely exothermic and produces a lot of smoke. So work outside and wear eye and respiratory protection. This shot also displays the beautiful yellowish green color that manganese is known to burn with. And because the first one had some sort of weird yellow impurity on it, I'm not going to include this in my final collection. So I did another smaller run with a better refined manganese dioxide that I did in a separate run. And here we go. As we can see, the second one is much better than the first. I simply smashed it apart and collected the harder parts to break, as to make sure that I don't get any slag or contaminants. And here we are, 0.03 grams of manganese. Honestly, from 1.34 grams of manganese dioxide, this isn't all that bad. Like a 3% recovery or something. Anyways... I know it's been a very long time since I last uploaded, and we've reached about 200 subs or something like that. I just want to say thanks for sticking with me, and might be another video coming out very, very soon. Hope you all enjoyed. See ya! So just in case any of you guys were wondering about the purity of this, or if what I have is actually manganese metal, 
I've proved it by adding some regular household vinegar onto it. This metal can only be manganese as it reacts with a very weakly acidic acetic acid inside of the vinegar, which results in hydrogen bubbles being produced, and other metals like aluminium, zinc, or whatever won't really react with vinegar the same way that manganese did. So we can be pretty sure it's manganese metal.